Welcome to Get Indie Gaming, where it's time again to wade through the pile in Steam and beyond to pick out five more of the very best underappreciated indie games of recent weeks, our hidden gems, for this September 2019. At number 5 and out in early access since April of this year, in its current form, Onirism is a little taster of what to expect when the full game comes out with a target launch date of spring the year after next. Sure that's quite some time to wait for the full release, although there's plenty of content and material for early adopters to get their teeth into. You play as Carol, a girl having been unduly awoken by a mysterious creature that's emerged from a portal having suddenly appeared within her bedroom. Having snatched Carol's favourite little stuffed bunny rabbit, the monsters retreated back into the portal, with Carol duly following with an umbrella and a gun come hairdryer. What follows is fully in keeping with what you'd find within the Ratchet and Clank series. There's plenty of action to be had with a mix of puzzles to be solved, bosses to fight off and platforming sections. Given the general all-round cutesy imagery and the dreamlike fantasy setting, the gunplay and kick-ass nature of what Carol goes about doing, well it kind of feels a tad odd, although even in this stage of things it's well polished and gives a sterner level of challenge that you might expect. There's also Metroidvania elements at play here too, with you being able to unlock new skills which provide you access to new areas. In this early access version, there's a single player and couch co-op game modes, with a full launch expected to have online multiplayer options added to the package. All in this looks and plays rather nicely, and for me it's well worth at least adding it to your wishlist. At number 4, Eliza is the debut visual novel from Zachtronics, and looks into a concept where AI and the use of digital rather than human-based interaction could be used within mental health care on a large-scale population base. It's all fully voice acted with great skill in what's really a to-and-fro conversation-driven story that changes as you play depending upon your choices with the premise of an AI therapist that uses machine learning together with audio, visual and physiological cues to formulate its guidance and counselling. What's won me over with this one is the overall strength of the writing and the quality of the voice acting. Each character lifts from the screen with it being so easy to empathise with their cares and concerns. The subtle nuances of conversation are all here too, the little gaps or stuttering when the mind races ahead, and the pauses when someone is thinking and speaking within a considered response and much more is for me the key that kept me interested and kept me playing. Eliza popped onto Steam on August 12th and I really hope this comes to the Switch where I can see me playing this all over again while on the morning commute. Coming up at number 3 and also recently out this past August in early access, Microtown is billed by the developers as a village construction and management simulator that's supposed to offer an all-round relaxing experience. You're tasked with looking after a town of little stick-like people who will do whatever you ask of them, be this to build stuff, to work the fields or to arrange suitable catering requirements to keep their bellies full. There's no violence, after all this is supposedly about relaxation, and for now said to be in early access for around 6 months, it all works rather well with a good few hours of gameplay, with items and upgrades to give you a sense of where the finished product is liable to take you. Up next and at number 2 we have a game that first launched onto home computers back in 2015, although just this past August it's also come out on the PlayStation 4. Now in truth I missed Gravity Ghost the first time round and I honestly wish I hadn't. It follows the soul or spirit of a young woman on a search to find a friendly fox she knew from back in her mortal life. In essence, Gravity Ghost is a colourful and beautifully put together puzzler that pulls you into the woman's backstory, usually told by ways of cutscenes that act the same way as a picture story does. It leads you from scene by scene that range from the funny to the sad and more, 
which all build to give a great sense and understanding into the character we play. The puzzles are, for the most part, quite excellently implemented with just the right amount of pacing to keep you playing. I never felt the game was also trying too hard to be too clever in what it's having us do. The most difficult sections for me were those with the spatial ball and maze elements. They took me a few tries to gain a sense of the solution, although at no time did I feel these parts of the game were getting on top of me. Having not played Gravity Ghost when it first launched, I can't comment on how well it's aged, although comparing it to recent games of its type, it fits quite nicely on the shelf with the best of them. Make this right somehow. Taking the top slot for this month, and to give it its full title, Kind Words Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Write To, well it came out only a few days ago under home computers this past September 12th. In Kind Words you play a character within a small bedroom who while able to write letters of their own, the real magic comes from your ability to select and read the letters from real people who've sent them out into the Kind Words community. You can simply read these letters or choose to respond directly to the author. If the author likes your response they can send you a sticker by way of saying thanks. During my playtime I read letters from a huge spectrum of topics from the Saturday soccer results to messages from people struggling with college debt, redundancies and struggle with mental health issues. While it's early days there are methods to report abuse, although so far I saw no trolling to speak of over the weekend just gone and responses from letters were quickly undertaken, often in what felt like real time. While there's clearly the potential for issues, so far Kind Words is one of the most enjoyable and thought provoking games put out this year and in 2019 it's up against some fantastic competition. Honestly, spend some time with Kind Words, it's just so very wonderfully different. And having now put Kind Words into your wish list, it's time I bid you farewell. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. This really helps the channel grow and get a wider stance within the gaming community. Many thanks for watching, I'll see you all back here soon for another video.